to greet everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Marino Remampur. I come from Rustenburg. And then the reasons why I came to church today to come see the man of God is two main reasons. I've been experiencing a delay in my career. Then I've also been experiencing some complications and problems within my marriage. So I have graduated in from my studies in July of 2020. But then since then, I've been struggling to secure um, employment. I've been applying, and then the furthest it, it got was to interviews. However, the interview phase never got to fruition. And sometimes with the interview, I will um, go back and request for feedback about what happened with the interview. Then I'll be told that um, you actually been your interview was successful. However, it just happened that our in our institution, our company, things got messed up. The system got messed up, so we couldn't carry on with the project we wanted to hire you for, for the work we wanted to hire you for. So it was just at the brisk of, uh, at the moment that I, went, I was almost able to enter into the job, into the company, things will go wrong or I'll never be recalled back after the interviews. So in terms of my marriage, I've been uh, married for two years now. So the main complications that exist within our marriages, we, we are constantly fighting, we are constantly bickering, and there's also lack of trust in each other. So there's just lack of peace and harmony within our marriage. Today I got the opportunity to meet with the one-on-one -on -one with the servant of God, and he did confirm that I will get um, a job very soon. And then I also said, uh, said we prayed and then he confirm that my marriage will be restored. Um, upon arrival into my session with the servant of God, he asked me where my children are. And then I was surprised and shocked because I don't have any children. Um, and then he was able to say, let me know that there is actually, um, um, there are children, I do have children in the spiritual realm. However, physically they have not come to, to fruition. This is because there's a, uh, the, an evil spirit that exists that is causing a delay in my life, in my progression of uh, all the desires and hopes that I have for myself in my life. My husband is, um, is keen or is, has a desire to have a big family. It is something that he is openly discussed with me, let me know, to let me know that he wants children. However, at this moment we haven't been able to conceive um, any kids up to this point. In terms of my career, the servant of God did mention that he is being able to see that I do send out some applications out for uh, various posts, in, especially in the mines. And then, however, I just happens that there's just some blockage or delay that um, it does not come to fruition and I don't get to get the confirmation that I'm looking for in the job applications. And yes, in order to confirm that, I can confirm that yes, it is true. I have been going back and forth with applications of for various job opportunities available to me. So it is true that I've been um, applying without uh, any success. With confirmation from what uh, the servant of God has um, um, told me, I am currently feeling nervous and anxious. Nervous and anxious mainly because he was actually spot on with the struggles that I've been having in my life and then he has reassured me to say everything is going to be all right so that has given me hope and then I'm very happy so to everyone out there who's going through some struggles if the biggest thing one biggest thing that the servant of God has told um, been telling us and teaching is that you must pray make prayer your lifestyle and then one must always get um, closer to God because sometimes we may not see the blessings of God because we are far from God. So getting closer to God and also if one gets an opportunity to come over to Charis Missionary Church, the doors, the gates are always open. So everyone is welcome to come to meet and talk to the servants of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So when did he tell you that you we must separate? Um, this week, the last two weeks. The last two weeks. Yes. So you never spoke with him since. You never spoke with him. We speak, but not about our marriage. We speak about every other thing, but not our marriage. Yeah, I think that's what I was telling you. That 
this is the Bible set who was looking at the child will come and when child when the child was not coming. Uh, it's like you would just use funny excuses not to borrow this whole thing. Yeah, he's you know. been to mm. he's yearning for a family to yes. That's what I'm telling you. And I'm sure when I was outside there I said to God we must give you a job. Yes. God must give you a better job. Yeah. In the name of Jesus.